Well, thank you very much, Tekalin, for joining us today here. I would like to touch on the um, recommendations that the CCAS Commission on uh, Sustainable Agriculture and Climate Change did about a, a year ago. Yeah. And you, you are one of the commissioners. Yeah. Um, from your experience now in the entire region there in East Africa, maybe in particular in Ethiopia, what is the status of the pickup of the recommendation? How is it taken on? First of all, the recommendations are also, they are nothing unique uh, in some way or another. They are actually related to the agricultural development activities that these countries are pursuing. So uh, the, catch on, the catching up is actually enormous. Uh, various commissioners are also playing part in uh, policy formulations, uh, in uh, uh, proposals to be submitted to like regional bodies and so on, or even climate change legislations. So maybe. What is the one main achievement there in terms of the pickup that you could point us to? For example, um, legislation. The, the commission recommendation was also like uh, taken into consideration during the proposal um, submission to CAFS Sevesta and also proposal uh, uh, submission to or proposal preparation by COMESA and study countries and uh, legislation uh, formulation in countries like Mexico, and also uh, legislations that are in process in our countries, in the continent. The Commission had actually extended its own mandate um, to see what the pickup of the recommendations throughout would be. Um, can you tell us a little bit something about has the Commission installed a tracker system, a monitor framework to, to see see how that pick up in general is and, and yes. evaluate and assess that? Uh, that is being monitored at the Secretariat level. The Commission Secretariat is still functioning and uh, the Secretariat office is monitoring the, 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 the pick up. And we are also communicating uh, periodically to update each other on the various achievements and involvements, engagements that we are in. And periodical also uh, progress reports are also being distributed to all of us. So actually, we track the pickup rates. The uh, platform is one of the sponsors originally of the uh, of the commission's work. Yes. Um, the the donors obviously have a particular interest in in knowing about how the pickup of the recommendations work and how how suitable they are. From what you've experienced now, what would be your message to to the donors in particular for their way of interacting um, in agriculture and climate change? What what should they focus on? Uh, yeah, first of all, I think it will be good if the donors also discuss with their clients about sustainable agriculture and also to make sure that climate change components or dimensions are included and taken care of in any projects that they are funding. Second is if they could also engage the commission uh, in like uh, projects or proposal uh, preparations, or uh, policy debates, or side events, so that the commission members or the commission delegates can actually share their ideas and make sure that the commission recommendations are also pursued or included in the national or regional policy agenda or project. As donor platform, uh, I think uh, it will also be, I know it is your responsibility to also, uh, to make sure that uh, the commission recommendations are not shelved and uh, all parties uh, realize the recommendations 
uh, are actually taken care of or they are being pursued by all concerned uh, and uh, the donor platform can also organize and facilitate uh, the involvement of the commission in uh, actually uh, all the possible uh, fora. Thank you very much.